Welcome to the 2023 edition of the top five tools to be announced from Milwaukee Tool at their pipeline event. This is the video where I use my clairvoyancy to predict what you will see from Milwaukee Tool. And if you like my list, hey smash there. the like button. Hey if you don't there. like my list, hey make your own list. Put it down hey below. There. I want to know from all of you in the comments, is there one tool that you want that Milwaukee Tool doesn't make? One of the tools that I want, I will let you know, it's not here. Never bought it, wouldn't have it, because in my opinion, it was a complete fail. Wouldn't do what I needed to do, so I never brought it in-house. I wasn't going to spend the money on it. And that's why I want them to make a second generation. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But the number one tool, number one or number five, this is in no order. One of the tools that I want Milwaukee Tool to refresh, update a generation two would be their surge impact driver on the M18 fuel line. Because number one, I love impact drivers. They are unbelievably versatile. This has become my go-to in my tool pouch every day. I like acquired impact driver, and that's why I like these hydraulic style of impact drivers, the Surge. There's less noise. It uses a mechanism that doesn't include a hammer and anvil inside there, but it makes for a, a consistently powerful and flat torque range in this impact with much less noise. I'd like to see more power from this. This is like 450, I believe, inch pounds of torque. I would like to see it bumped up to maybe 600 inch pounds of torque. Number two is pack out accessory. And here's the deal. I never, I never had it on the job site because it was such a turd, piece of trash. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Everyone's biggest gripe with Milwaukee's pack out is that if you wanted a all-terrain solution for wheeling your pack out onto the job site, you needed to use this big box. You wanted to put a crate up here, organizers, or, or build your system out to exactly what you needed, you would still be tethered to this large box. And the reality is, is that in this large box is some of my largest tools that I don't necessarily always need on every job. But I need it on every job because I need the doggone wheels to get it to the job. No, I don't want to carry a giant pack out system. I wanted a solution for this that made more sense was without the box. And this is where the turd comes in. <laughs> Milwaukee decided to give us this cart. <clears throat> this, 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 what do, you, what do we call this thing? What is this thing called? A dolly. They decided to give us this dolly, this cart. In an attempt to save on metal, they, they decided to go with this truss style system made out of plastic. It wasn't durable. It literally came broken. I, I literally could see like on a cold Philadelphia morning, picking this up and, and you know, maybe throwing it out of the truck, all of this snapping anyway. Couldn't deal with it. So, Milwaukee Tool, you need to announce a new all-terrain dolly that we can use with our existing packout boxes. The one thing that Milwaukee Tool did get right on this dolly system are these wheels. These are a, a firm rubber wheel. They can be used all terrain, but they are smooth. And this drive shaft, which said I was gonna mount my crate here, but you can see, we put our crate with our sole in there. Look, see that? It's all broken, it's broken. It's not broken from like over overuse. I literally never had this on the job site because it came in broken. So Milwaukee Tool, it's time for Gen 2. With more metal, please. Moving on, we're gonna talk about the gorilla in the room. It is a big, big deal because Milwaukee Tool has always been the leader in technology. I mean, Milwaukee Tool, when they released their M18 line of tools with their lithium ion battery pack, they actually patented that technology 
a removable pack. They patented this, and what that allowed Milwaukee Tool to do was literally extort every other manufacturer, like the mafia. Business bad, f you, pay me. The civilized people that wear white collars, they call it a royalty. Down in the streets, we call it a tribute, okay? You pay up, cuz. Here's the deal, the patent has expired. So Milwaukee Tool literally isn't getting paid anymore from the other brands when they make lithium ion cylindrical cell packs. Other tool brands, they're moving away for a more powerful and robust battery technology. You're able to use smaller size battery packs to power larger tools and small equipment like demo saws, 14, 12 inch demo saws, breakers with battery packs one or two battery packs this size. It's called pouch lithium or stacked lithium. Milwaukee Tool hasn't announced that technology yet for 2023. Will they have it for 2024? I'm saying there's no choice. Either you're going to release stacked lithium or you're just gonna be falling behind because the platforms, the M18 platform, isn't going to be able to expand to the size of other manufacturers with larger tools. Wouldn't it be great to have the option of keeping your entire platform on, on one battery? The other thing is, is that Milwaukee Tool has made a shift to using multiple batteries in single tools. We could see examples of that with their vacuum cleaners, and their lawn mower. The reality is, is that with things like vacuum cleaners and lawn mowers, you're using an enormous amount of watts and you're also using a, a tremendous amount of amp hours very rapidly. And that's why, in addition to stacked lithium, Milwaukee Tool needs to upgrade this battery pack from 12 amp hours to 15 amp hours. We're seeing around the industry battery packs of this size that have 15 amp hours of power. Milwaukee Tool, you gotta do it. Now, spoiler alert, for a year now, we have seen around the intrawebs, they listed their, their chainsaw with a 15 amp hour battery pack. So it's coming. Let's move on to number four, or number five, or number two. Here's the deal, we just saw a release of a new generation three hammer drill and impact driver. So we're not gonna see a new generation, right? It's too soon, it just happened last year. And quite frankly, there's no reason to see a new generation of this. But I just wanted to illustrate the size of M12, how compact it is. Now, why not Milwaukee Tool show some love to all the drywall hangers out there with an M12 fuel version of your M18 fuel drywall screwdriver and also come out with an M12 fuel version of the spiral saw. Think about how much more compact and versatile and how more easily your drywall screwdriver could fit into your pouch or on the side of your pouch. And here's the thing, look at how more compact that would be. That, that would be awesome, I would love that. I would like to see all those features that are included in this, in this. And finally, we have the number one. Milwaukee Tool, this is a must. The first version was a failure for tradespeople. When you have a large, expensive tool, you wanna make sure that you're going to get something that is as versatile as possible. And that's why I implore you, Milwaukee Tool, please do a generation two table saw because the M18 table saw just wasn't capable of making those long running rips. Your feed rate was unbelievably slow through hardwoods or you risked kickback or stalling your tool and that could be dangerous. Nobody, nobody wants to be injured. The way you alleviate this issue is number one, introduce stack lithium. You need that battery pack for that table saw. And number two, make it part of the M36 platform of tools. I couldn't think of a better tool to implement more voltages. You need them, more voltages. 
The big bonus would be, the thing that would be a showstopper, the thing, listen, you do it with your radios, chargers, right? You do it with your radio chargers, you do it with your, your light chargers, you do it with your dual power tower rocket lights. Why not do it with your table saw, Milwaukee Tool? Why won't you do it? You would let the users of Milwaukee Tools know that you care about their bottom line and not just yours. If you gave them an option to plug it in, and then I'll actually buy it. Here's the thing. Richard from Finnish Carpentry TV and I, we ran Milwaukee's table saw against the Waltz Flexvolt table saw, and me and Richard both kind of agreed when it came to a table saw, battery power wasn't there yet. It's just still not there, it wasn't there. This is gonna take a while. So there's my list. Let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of it? Do you agree with my choices? What will your choices be? If you appreciate the video and wanna find out about the new, newest, newest Milwaukee tools, then smash the like button, it's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime, you'll get seven years of good luck. Make sure you're getting subscribed and tapping the bell. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you haven't gotten enough Milwaukee Tool action just yet, or a tool deal, I don't know what's gonna come up next, but it will be Milwaukee Tool focused. Check out this next video. You're gonna love it. Blah.